Hey everyone, wanna welcome back here. So, doing another, uh, you know, gameplay commentary here. I decided to do a really nice kind of quick one on uh, Kylo Ren, or rather Ben Solo. Of course, every Star Wars fan would know, would be able to know who this guy is. He, that is, uh, that is Ben Solo, the, the son to Han Solo and uh, Leia Organa. And... In the whole dark side version of things, it is also Kylo Ren, who is the grandson to this guy right here, Anakin Skywalker, aka Darth Vader. So, I thought I'd do another commentary on Kylo Ren here, just for the fun of things. So, without further ado here, and this one is, once again, one of those customizable ones. There we go. And, let's have some fun and get started. I'll show you the dark side. And this is the part where I decided to have Kylo Ren on Starkiller base. Seems rather appropriate, of course, considering the fact he, he was mostly commanding it or being a second commander or whatever, right next to Snoke. First had no, when I first had noticed Kylo Ren in Star Wars Episode 7. Yeah, I was quite interested about, about the guy, especially with his unique um, lightsaber uh, hilt. I was gonna say handle. Well, technically it is, but it's really a, it's really a hilt. And what else here? Boom! <laughs> yep. Yep, he's got some four skills. The one I was quite interested with was this one here. Yep, you already did. So now I gotta start chasing down some bad guys here. So that way I can still keep the whole timer going. Now, with Kylo Ren here, let's look at it this way. Ben Solo, AKA Kylo Ren. Oh, nice, one shot kind of deal, sweet. Oh yeah. So with, Ka with Ben Solo, who was once part of the lake until Snoke tricked him into going down the dark side becoming Kylo Ren. You gotta admit, this guy here was literally trained slash... Kind of pretty much like trained slash nurtured by, by his uncle, Luke Skywalker. Who pretty much had nurtured, nurtured him in the ways of... Obviously, in the light side, use, nurturing him in the ways of the Force and how to use a lightsaber. Like this guy, pretty much got got trained from the ground up. You gotta give him that, anyways. It's like how, like, how, like this, with the way that this guy got nurtured and trained into the ways of using the Force, especially at a young age, just like just like you know during the part of. During the like uh, the Jedi Temple and the old and the old and the old Republic, you have to also look at it this way as well. Along the lines of like, you know, how good can you get it, especially especially with Ben Solo, Kylo Ren. This guy's got some all K type of force force abilities, like such as that. Talk over here real quick, like. <laughs> like I said, this guy's pretty good. Gotta get him just to uh, regenerate here a little bit. 
So once these guys go after him, bam, he's already in the ready type of deal. All right. Four nine kills. Wow. I set this thing at a hundred and already he's going through like it's nothing. Talk about being very well trained with, you know, with lightsaber combat, especially with the force. Like I said, this kid got trained from the ground up. At least he was lucky that way. I don't know, I remember when I first when I first got a chance to see uh, Star Wars Episode 7, The Force Awakens. Oh yeah, I thought, you know, J.J. Abrams had done a really fantastic job of, make, of making the film as it is. Uh, episode 8, The Last Jedi, uh, for the most part it was okay, but I thought they could have done a little better. And BOOM! Definitely Kylo Ren is a really interesting, cool kind of character. Especially being a relative, you know, being the grandchild of the so called the chosen one, Darth Vader. So, right? You will not die well. That is Adam Driver, aka Ben Solo, aka Kylo Ren. Yep, he's pretty good. Power. Oh, you know, he's following Vader's footsteps. Yep. Like I said, this guy was nurtured from the ground up. Submit to me. Four more to go. Like I said, this kid was already trained from the ground up, and already he becomes supreme, uh, supreme leader after he had taken out his own master, which is Snoke. Of course, that's just the ways of, you know, part of the whole, well, not necessarily the dark side, but, but the whole ways of the Sith. And he, and they are done. And Kylo Ren is good to go. So once again, guys, that's the video I wanted to make, uh, like a commentary video about Kylo Ren. Like I said before, he's quite powerful, he's quite pretty good, and this kid was already, like, just trained slash nurtured by, by Luke Skywalker pretty much from the ground up until, you know, Snoke, uh, there's not much story behind that as to how Snoke managed to, you know, influence him in, but of course, you know, Snoke managed to influence Kylo Ren, uh, Ben Solo and making the whole uh, you know Knights of Ren and he became Kylo Ren and like I said before this get, this guy got trained from the ground up and he's pretty good. It's kind of like interesting to see that you know 
uh, Kylo Ren himself, he got he got trained and he became very skillful, powerful, as opposed to you know Ray with an extremely short period of time with very little no training at all. All of a sudden, bam! She's like a child prodigy and she can use the Force like nothing. But like I mentioned before, just wanted to make that quick little uh, commentary video about Kylo Ren. As again, as you may have already have seen, he's quite strong and powerful and. He can wield that lightsaber of his like a boss. Anyways, guys, thank you very much for watching this and you know watching this nice video, uh, this commentary video here. Go ahead and uh, and uh, subscribe and uh, leave a nice comment. We can talk more more about you know a great amount of Star Wars stuff and kind of characters be like and so on. You know, it's for the hell of things. Anyways, till then, another time. Peace out, stay gold.